Hello there folks, well, welcome back to the channel and as you can hear, it's absolutely tippet down outside so I'm going to maybe hold off for a wee bit to see if this lane maybe passes a wee bit because there's actually some hail as well Yeah, this is supposed to be spring <sighs> again it's Scotland so but what I'm actually going to try and get to head to for this video once the rain gets lost is I'm going to go to the Provence Lordship which the rain stopped <laughs> so I'll so we'll have to hang about for too long famous last words but so again what I'm trying to head to is the Provence Lordship which is uh, the, I think that's where they're taking the mick out of me uh, the Provence Lordship is the really old building it is across the road from or it's kind of right next to Glasgow Cathedral and it was supposed to reopen last year after a massive refurb but it was delayed and it is now reopened this year so it's actually reopened on uh, the 29th of March 2024 which just happens to be Good Friday so I parked up and I'm gonna try and not get too soaked and head on over to the Provence Lordship. There is a website, so I will link that into the description bar below and into the pinned comment as well. So if you want to have a nosy to see what's going on and get the information there. And I have previously been into the Provence Lordship before they did the refurb. And I always remember my dad telling me as well that his great granny used to work in the shop that was in the Provence Lordship. So yeah, I think I might have a family connection to this building. And um, yeah, so I managed to park not too far away from it, so hopefully I shouldn't get too soaked. But so I will be heading out in just a second, weather permitting. Before I do that, if you're enjoying my videos, if you're enjoying my channel, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com ch uh, page, channel's PayPal account, and a TikTok account in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So without the roads, I'm gonna grab my things and head on outside. So that's the Glasgow Necropolis up there. I've already been up there in a video. And right there, I've seen people doing videos at this hotel before. It's uh, the Cathedral House Hotel. It's supposed to be the most haunted hotel in Glasgow. Uh, maybe one day, try and save up for that one. But where I'm heading, I can just see the the building ahead of me. It's got the yellow render, but like the the Great Hall of Solon Castle. That's where I'm heading to. So that's the Glasgow Necropolis up there. I've already been up there in a video. And right there, I've seen people doing videos at this hotel before. It's uh, the Cathedral House Hotel. It's supposed to be the most haunted hotel in Glasgow. Uh, maybe one day try and save up for that one. But where I'm heading. I can just see the the building ahead of me. It's got the yellow render, but like the the Great Hall of Solon Castle. That's where I'm heading to. Yeah, so that's the St Mungo's Museum of Religious Life and Art. But this is where I'm heading to for this one. Uh, so this is the Provence Lordship. Uh, it's said to be like the oldest house in Glasgow. Uh, no Provence Hall. I always try to say it's also the oldest house in Glasgow. But at least with Provence Lord, the Provence Lordship, we know that has always been within the city boundary of Glasgow and there's a garden around the back so I'm just going to head in at the rain so so we sign there with the date when it was originally built and so these are the opening times and it's free entry which is always good let's get in at, let's get in at this rain yep I'm Scott Upper Crombie, I'm a conservation architect at Glen Pilgrim Architects. So this is the shop my dad was telling me about that his great granny used to work in. So my great great granny. And 
and that's the garden at Save. Bit soggy just now, but I might try and explore it. Yeah, this is an artisan press of what medieval glass would have looked like. We've got the cathedral at the top. And this here, I'm guessing, would be the high street. So we've got a bit of information about medieval Glasgow. And the building itself. So in here, we've got it's a, a dining room. This has essentially some information about the furniture. So, Owen Burrow of uh, the Burrow Collection fame, and Owen McIntosh, who are famous members of the Celtic Lordship Society, who looked after the Burrow Lordship. And Burrow actually bought all this furniture, which is made of Scottish oak, to actually help furnish the house itself. Yeah, so you have to be aware there's a lot of old beams, so just watch your head, especially if you're, if you're on the tall side. Yeah, so there is a story that associates many Queen of Scots with the Prophet and Lordship, which apparently stayed here while visiting her second husband, Lord Darnley. That's when it, it was involved in an explosion and later on strangled. This is one of the rooms that's been set up the bedroom, and it's been one of the, the Scottish oak furniture that uh, Burrell bought. There's a bed warmer over there. It's very much set up to look like it would have done back when it was first built. Back in the 15th, 15th century. Yeah. Yeah, the steps are a wee bit uneven. The stone floors might just keep. Yeah, that's about you. So, again, one of the other rooms here. Again, another lot of view of the garden outside. And then still on. Down towards the necropolis. So, this is some information about the room I was in before. I'll show you again a second. Yeah, Glasgow College or the university is actually just around the corner from here. Originally, before we moved up to the West End. So, this is the Canon Cuthbert uh, Simpson. So, that'd have been his room. So, that'd be that manny there. Yeah, there have actually been quite a few people out visiting the build in the short time I've been here. And I think even one of the members of staff from Glasgow Life actually was commenting on it being quite busy. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come and that people are interested in seeing the Prophet Lordship open again. And yeah, and again, it's been, it's been closed for like what, two years for the, refer uh, the refurb. And I think a lot of people have been kind of looking forward to seeing uh, inside it again. And yeah, definitely enjoy my little visit. Hopefully, I think that's the sun trying to come out. So hopefully the rain won't, won't be on for too much longer. And I'll be able to get out and show you the garden. That's me on the top floor. And this bit here, very much set up as a new art gallery showing uh, some images of Southwark Glasgow.
doing <clears throat> some more artwork showing the start of Glasgow. Yeah, that's the rain actually gone off, thankfully. Not going to get soaked walking around the garden. Yeah, so that up there, that building with scaffold, that's the Barney Hall. That's part of Strathclyde Uni. And yeah, so I'm going to wander around and show you the garden, which is pretty much a cloister. Yeah, so pretty much like the old monastic cloisters, they've got these wee seats. You can sit and enjoy the garden. And we've all got these faces. I think they were carved around about the same time as the house. And uh, now all underneath this protective covering. Oh, oh, yeah, that's information there. They're actually carved in the 18th and 19th century. So not as old as a house. So it's the uh, Royal Court Farms of Scotland. And it's the uh, Court of Arms of Glasgow. So the tree that never grew, the bird that never flew, the bell, the bell that never rang, and the fish that never swam. So you can just make it the bird is actually just in the tree itself at the top. the garden there. Yeah, some of the heads look like they're supposed to be uh, green men. So they've got all like, the foliage on their faces and their heads. Well, that's the back of the car from visiting the Proven Lordship. And uh, yeah, again, it's a really interesting place to go visit. You do get a sense of medieval Glasgow. And yeah, and it's just a way of seeing that bit of Glasgow, much of which, much of which has fortunately been lost. Kind of the joys of urban development and urban sprawl. But again, the fact that the Proven Lordship still stands, it's being preserved and looked after and you can visit it, it's free, free entry. Uh, yeah, definitely somewhere that I'd recommend if you are in Glasgow, if you're up visiting the uh, Glasgow Cathedral, uh, St Mungo's Museum of Religious Life and Art, definitely get across and see the Proven Lordship as well. Um, yeah, and it's just one of those wee places that is just a wee gem, it just again gives you that wee glimpse into uh, history that you might not get otherwise. And I do love the fact that uh, William Burrell and Charles Ray McIntosh are both associated with the building as well. So yeah, definitely somewhere that I'd recommend. Hopefully you will have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll find it interesting and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.